19 is the forecast low for Yadkinville and other foothill towns. Across the heart of the triad, we're at 21. Now, that dangerous travel involves not only the black ice, but if you're in the mountains and foothills, you still have a lot of wind out there, so it's blowing and drifting that snow. So even though the plows may have come down your road, we're going to see them snow covered again once the wind pushes some of that snow back onto them. So slick roads and definitely some slick travel, probably another day or two at least until we can get these temperatures really to warm up and, and melt everything away. Now, across the triad, you've got black ice on the scraped roads, and the neighborhood roads are still snow and sleet covered, so just take your time. Whole lot of snow in the northeast, well over what we saw. We saw a foot, they're getting two, maybe three feet of snow, so I can't even imagine what that's like. Meadows of Dan is our highest total. This one just coming into the Weather Center at 20 inches there in Patrick County. In Lawsonville, a foot of snow. Hillsville, a foot. Hayes at 10. Hibbern Community at 6. Mount Airy with 8 inches. Wilkesboro also with 8. And we saw anywhere between 3 to 5 across the heart of the triad. Now we're going to try to melt it away. It'll start to melt by lunchtime. We're above freezing at 35. High tomorrow afternoon at chilly 39 degrees. A lot of sun though. Yakinville, you're up to 38 by tomorrow afternoon. Even in Sparta, those temperatures should make it above freezing, so it'll allow for at least some melting. If you're traveling south to Bank of America Stadium, if you're heading out early, be careful. Be on the lookout for the black ice. By noon, you're above freezing. Afternoon and into tailgate time, we've got temperatures that will be in the low 40s. You'll need jackets for sure. You definitely want to bring several layers and consider hats and gloves because temperatures are going to drop down below freezing. Freezing toward the end of the game. Here is your three day forecast. Warmer air for next week, and right now a chance of rain for Tuesday and Wednesday.